You guys hear that noise? Sounds like some kind of warning. I don't know what they'd be warning us about. Yeah, nothing's popped up on the phone yet, so. So creepy. I don't have any service, do you? Yeah. I feel like we've just walked into a horror film. Good morning, friends. Welcome back to the channel. If you missed our last videos, we were on a two-week road trip through Croatia, Italy, Slovenia, and finally, we made it here to Bosnia, Herzegovina. And what are we doing today? Today we're gonna go explore Sarajevo. Let's go! Out the board, the funicular. I think they call it cable car. They call it both. Oh. But we're gonna get on this one, not just pay for it. So, like our last <laughs> video. Whoa, golly. Oh. What do you got behind you there? A very nice view of the city, but we're very high up. It's like a painting behind you. Oh, I bet it does. Time for a history lesson. So we're on the funicular here, or the cable car, people call it both. Started construction about 1959, and then it ran for, it's like 30 years. I think I paused it, 1989, after the Bosnian War started, it was totally demolished. So they just reopened it, I think a couple years ago now. So a quick seven to 10 minute ride up to the top of the mountain, and then we can go explore the abandoned bobsled track. It's hot in here, huh? Yeah, you want me to open the window? <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> I made it. I don't know that I've ever seen bobsledding. Are you like, do you lay down like this? Are you in a group? You're in a group. In you a ever group? seen Cool Runnings? Yeah, what? Oh, yeah, I've Jamaica. Seen that. Yeah. They were four years after Sarajevo's Olympics. Ah. Uh. Let's Do it, bruh. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Is that where you think the sounds are? <laughs> I think so. All right, so we made it to the bobsled track, which the Olympics were actually hosted here back in 1984, the Winter Olympics. And this is really cool. <laughs> it's a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Yeah, you need some room to, uh, <laughs> to move. It's not a one person sled, so. Clearly I know nothing goes, about bobsledding. <laughs> yeah, it's about 10 foot wide from the Bottom to the top of the curvature. Yeah, and we took the cable car up here. It was 10 US each. Which For a was, round trip. Yeah, round trip. You can take it up and just go hiking and hike down, but we like to ride the cable car, so we got a round trip ticket. And I think we're gonna try and get some drone shots so we can show you guys the views from above. Follow us on Instagram, you should do that now, at Evan and Lemon. We post in real time on our stories, and we post tons of reels, so check it out. It's a good spot for a pit stop. Yeah, it must be where they change the tires on the bobsled. You guys hear that noise? Sounds like some kind of warning. I don't know what they'd be warning us about. Yeah, nothing's popped up on the phone yet, so. So creepy. I don't have any service, do you? Yeah. I feel like we've just walked into a horror film. I guess let's just keep going. I think that goes. Somewhere I don't want to be. It is cool though how nature is kind of like reclaiming everything. Like there's moss, what we think is moss growing and like the trees are kind of like growing into the track we're coming into the home stretch new olympic record <laughs> so we made it to the end of the bobsled track pretty cool to see all the graffiti and street art in 92 the 95 it was actually used as artillery for the bosnian serbs it's up on the mountain so it had a little tactical uh, vantage point it looked like there were bolt holes in some things too it was kind of creepy yeah it's just kind of the scars of the war there. But uh, on now to the Bistrick Tower. See the little observatory viewpoint. 
If we can find it. If we can find it. Is this the end? It might be. I don't know if I'm going up, but I'm going in. Whoa, creepy. All right, so this district originally was built as a fortress um, they used to kind of watch over the city. And then I think in the 60s, they turned it into like an astronomy observatory and built domes on the top. Um, however, the war, clearly it was demolished. And now we're just kind of in what remains of that. This place gives me the heebie-jeebies. So as much fun as we're having exploring the bobsled track and the fortress behind us, it is really a kind of a somber feeling because exactly 27 years ago today, there was a genocide committed here in Bosnia. So we're just kind of taking it all in and it's kind of a weird feeling to be out exploring but then also knowing everything that happened here. But at least we know a little bit more, we understand a little bit more. Fear the rhythm, fear the rhyme. Come on, Sarajevo, it's bobsled time. <laughs> Is that the chant they did, or you make that up? No, that's cool runnings. It's a Jamaica. Oh. So that we're almost there. Yeah, in a little bit. Keep on keeping on there, little doggy. You go ahead. This where I live now. Bye. Bye. This is like real panic settling in. The cable car is moving back and forth. Oh my God, the fucking doors are like wiggling. This is not, this is not okay. All right, if you're enjoying the video as much as Evan is this cable car ride, right? make sure you hit subscribe and like. Come back to our scheduled program. You did it, you made it. Almost. So much for the funicular. That was scary, bro. Yeah. There's like rock inside the side, and the wind was like, pew, 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 pew. That's not what the wind sounded like, but you can use your imagination. So Probably it, aired in the video. It was whistling. morning friends it is the next day we had so much fun exploring the abandoned bobsled track but it really wiped us out so it's the next day and we have booked something really exciting what are we doing and do a free walking tour check out all the history about Sarajevo learn about uh, the culture from past times and more recently the conflict in 92 the Bosnian war yeah so let's go let's do it we're running late we really gotta hurry yeah, let's go <laughs> So Bill behind me, I'm saying that right? It's a little fountain that you can drink from. It's been here for a few hundred years, but once you drink from it, you're supposed to return back to Sarajevo. Also, they have them in the Twinning Cities. One's in Belgrade. The one they donated to St. Louis, Missouri. This street that we're walking down right now is considered to be the oldest street in Sarajevo. And our guide from the walking tour earlier told us that if you're going to get any souvenirs, this is a street you're going to want to do it on because everything is made by hand. So you'll find nothing but authentic craftsman stores here. So earlier we found some bracelets, so we're going to go check those out. things. We don't normally buy souvenirs, but if we can find something small enough to carry with us, we will. So we've got these little spoons for coffee, which are really pretty. And then I got a bracelet and I'm so excited. I 
haven't had any jewelry since we left. Actually, I left everything at home. So this is like the first little piece of jewelry we bought on the trip. The last time we buy, tried to buy a piece of jewelry was at the Grand Bazaar in Istanbul, and there was a price tag on it that said like 120, and we're like, oh, that's great, 120 lira, but it was 120 euro. <laughs> So since then I've been dying to get my hands on a little something, so we got this bracelet and it was only 20 marks, which is like a little over 10 USD. So this is what I personally thought was the most interesting part of our tour today. Right behind me stands a clock tower. It is the world's only lunar clock in the whole world, which just blows my mind. Uh, but because it is a lunar clock, it has to be changed more than once a week, usually about three times a week. Um, the same man has been climbing 67 stairs up to three times a week to change this clock for the last 50 years. So why is a lunar clock so important? The lunar clock is really important to the Muslim religion because they actually say that the day, the new day starts as soon as the sun goes down. But as we all know, the sun goes down at different times of the year. So this lunar clock, like I said before, has to be manually changed all the time. It's crazy. So one of the many things that we learned today on our walking tour is really how much of a melting pot Sarajevo is, not only of different religions, but also of different cultures as well. So right behind us is kind of like a border uh, that they call the Sarajevo meeting of cultures. So if you go to the west, you're gonna see more of the Austro-Hungarian side, uh, where you're gonna see like wider streets, taller buildings, much different architecture. If you head to the east side, you're gonna see a lot more of that Ottoman Empire influence. You're gonna see a lot smaller, smaller, more narrow streets. And uh, you'll see things like Turkish delights and Turkish coffee as well. I guess you'd call it Bosnian coffee here because we're here in Bosnia. Um, anyways, we just wanted to point that out because we thought it was really interesting. All right, so the spot in front of me, June 28, 1914, is where Franz Ferdinand was assassinated by Cavero Princip, and that uh, started World War One. So at that time, Franz Ferdinand was the Archduke of Austria, right? Austro-Hungarian Empire? Austro-Hungarian, and that's who was ruling Sarajevo at the time. So he came here for a visit and then was murdered. And yeah, like you said, that's basically what catapulted World War I, which is just insane. This city is filled with history. It's so interesting. Like, I think it's definitely the most interesting city we've been to so far. Yeah, a lot of stuff going on, a lot of history. Lots of history, and like we said before, a total melting pot. So you definitely need to add Sarajevo to the top of your travel bucket list. On that note, we are gonna end the video here. Thank you for watching as always. Make sure you just give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. What are we doing in the next video? Yeah, take it around Sarajevo and try out the local food. Yes, we've got lots of yummy things on our list to try and we can't wait to share them with you guys. So we will see you in the next one. Cheers. Cheers. So we made it to the end of the bobsled track. <laughs> <laughs> right. You remember drawing that when you were a kid? No? <laughs>